Hey guys, people have been asking me, how do you block a flop? Um, my next match is against a guy named James English, he's got a great flop, so I've gone over this a couple times. I, I, I know what I'm talking about a bit here. So, there is kind of three ways to block a flop. There's a couple more, but these are the three kind of ideas. First one is, is just cut it off with your own press. You can't flop if you're outside your shoulder and like getting pushed against this way, it takes away all the power. So if I can set up and press as well, that can be good, but that can also be very scary because nobody wants to dive in against a guy who's diving in. It's it's bone on bones, test your frame. Nobody, nobody wants that. So that one's for the for the very brave ones among us. The next one is is just setting up cup really hard because the idea of a flop is a lot of pronation, a lot of press with the shoulder, and and a lot of just center center control. So the, the goal is to be really fast in the flop and just dump them onto the B side. So you're putting all of your weight with your shoulder and against your hand and just pushing up this way. If I'm supinated in, I can't do that so much. If it becomes a weird lock against here, it doesn't work so well. So something very good you can do is, is you can cup really hard and, and focus on trying to, just to get them out of their shoulder. So if a guy is setting up the flop, I'd be up front of the pad, pushing them off as much as possible and cupping as hard as I can, either in a hook or some sort of roll or, or anything of that sort but emphasis on the cup to really turn the guy over real hard. Next one is just really fast. So same kind of idea. You want to set them out of the shoulder as much as possible, but then if, say, I'm top rolling, that's, that's the only thing I can do. I really have no inside game. I'm hitting out as quick as I possibly can, as quick as I can, and just trying to bump them out of the shoulder. Now, some guys can still flop from here. There's a couple that do it, but most guys won't continue from here if you just keep ripping at them and they'll kind of turn out. That's the goal, that's what you want, but if a guy sticks it there, your best bet is to stand up as much as possible and cup, like I was saying before, and edge in if possible. If you can't, just keep throwing away, hitting, hitting, hitting. Those are the three ways to kind of to kind of beat a flop, but how do you train them? That's the big thing. The most important thing in beating a flop is probably supination. So I would wrap my supination like this, Front grip through the thumb, over, and bang, toward yourself with a bicep. Now, you can be supination a couple different ways. This is the way that I like to do it. It's very on the bicep. It feels very nice. It feels very smooth. You can't go too heavy or it'll feel really feel your elbow. Another one is, is you can come around and you can do the same, exact same wrap, but now I'm like pushing it. I'm pushing it. And you can decide however much you want to turn out, however much side pressure you want to evolve. If I really wanted, I could even kind of stand over here and like, bang, like really, really side pressure oriented. That is the initiator of either blocking a flop or, or pressing or whatever. It's, it's that, it's this. It's all like this movement, turning in. So it's getting on the flop's arm. Bang. Into a press, it would be supination, and then the next move, which, is, which would be low cup. So, low cup. Use a multi-spinner, wrap around, around low, and just bang, 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 bang. The best thing you can do is you want, this actually a little bit high, you want this wrap to be, whatever half the strap is, you want that to be how much room is left, and then your little finger here, your little pinky, just above where the strap lies. So you're cupping, you're cupping, you're cupping. This really helps the next part of kind of getting through a flop. So. It's you have the supination aspect, supination with side pressure, and then a lot of cup, a lot of low cup. And then the final one is, is the deep supination press. So same wrap, same wrap around, push it up and just bang, bang, bang. Really emphasizing the, the cut, the cutting in, like the chopping into the guy's arm. All three of those together look like this. It's supination with low cup, bang, and then bang. That's the best way to be a flop, just to edge them out of the shoulder and rip through them with your own press. Because some guys, they just hang on here and it sucks. I, I, I've been against guys where they can just sit here all day and you wanna know what to do. So best case scenario, bump them out of the shoulder with either supination or your own kind of shoulder, cupping, turn them over, get them over here, and then finish it with your own press. If you're brave enough, you can just dive right into the press, but for us less brave people, uh, cupping. Best case scenario, cupping supination into a press. That's gonna be the flop, guys.